there's so many things I think that push us into this like you're a victim you can't change your circumstances you can never be better than your parents are or your friends are or your circle current circle of influence and that's all it's just like a a sigh up to like bring you down Mm -hmm. and keep you in low like vibrations energy or you just even like a low pattern of life um when you start breaking out of that you realize how many things are around you that can make things better and it's not a coincidence it's 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 always there Mm -hmm. we just it's sometimes hard to like walk in and actually see it where we're just pushed down a lot in our thinking and our, our, our views about what we're capable of. We're, we're all capable of so much. We really have no idea. There's three ways of looking at, um, at your thinking. So it's either past focused, present or future focused. Um, I'm future focused, which means I'm always looking ahead. So sometimes that's not good because you can get focused on always, you know, in the future, in the future, and it doesn't help you be very present in the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but even knowing that, that I'm, I tend to look ahead, I tend to kind of forget about things that have happened in the past because they're done and gone. I've already conquered them. Like we're moving forward. Um, that was really interesting to find out. So and you are too. Future focused are the best. A lot of people are are getting into it and looking into how can they grow as people. Um, I first started even like the personal growth journey, which the Enneagram has been part of that journey. But I started that probably about five years ago. Um, And for me, it was, um, there's a lot of personal stuff going on that was really difficult at that time. Um, I felt like really out of control of the situation. Um, I was eating really unhealthy. I like gained a lot of weight. I wasn't, I wasn't really happy with everything that was going on. Um, Financially, it was stressful financial wise. Um, And so I started personal growth work just as a way to try to better myself and improve my life. It was the one thing that I felt like I could be in control of when a lot of other stuff was totally out of control. And it's kind of funny because, um, not to be like too esoteric, but I feel like the universe kind of corresponds as I started traveling down this path of trying to figure out different things, trying to change my life and all that sort of thing. Um, Different people and events would come into the situation to just help that journey go that much farther so I'd meet different people that helped inspire me in different ways I'd um I'd be introduced to different situations even with the work I'm currently doing for the photography studio I feel like I even kind of fell into that um I met some people they opened my eyes like hey you instead of just taking some pictures of people you could actually be sitting down with them and help them create artwork and then you get paid more people love your products a lot more It, it works out so much better and that business was able to grow. If you're worried about stuff like that, it helps put you into a victim mindset. Nothing can change everything we do, you know. Um, yeah, that's interesting. It's total victim and fear mindset. <laughs> we are not about that. <laughs> <laughs> trying not to be. No. Trying, trying, trying not to be. But I think that lends into the conversation we are having earlier about improving yourself. If you're always scared and you're fearful of the future, you're fearful of taking those risks, yeah, you're more apt to not do anything with your life. Whereas if you're willing to take those risks, you're willing to put yourself out there, fail, move on. Like Those are the people who are going to be more successful in this world. Yeah. And you just feel better as a person. You know, and I think that, like you were talking about video games, people do have that tendency to just plug me in because it's going to keep me safe. Like I think the big thing that we've really talked about is like be safe be safe be safe but um at what point in humanity did we become so concerned about staying safe that we've neglected like our ability to live life you know life isn't safe at what point are you going to say hey life is meant to be lived we don't have to be fearful we can we can take a chance we can have that big business idea we can get ourselves out of bad situations like life will continue to go on if your mindset is in the right place as a christian knowing that God does have a plan and he's not like a a wrathful, vengeful God that wants the worst for his people. He wants the best for us. The best doesn't always look like a perfect, stress-free, trouble-free life. Um, But the things that get put into our life are meant to grow and develop us. And and they're they're all going to be better in the end. 